I haven't got anything ready. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and I look real pale right now compared to the rest of my body and that's because today I'm going to be showing you two looks because I have been quite late on the bandwagon. I really wanted to do an autumn look but I also want to do some Halloween looks and if I did just an autumn look this week and then Halloween looks I wouldn't have that many Halloween looks so I was like do you know what I'm gonna be doing both so I'm gonna be showing you today how to do an autumn look and you know you you, you got to have a busy day and, and you want to look nice in the day and then you want to run home and get ready for Halloween but you haven't got time so I'm gonna show you how to turn this <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by priming my skin. I'm going to be using my Primed and Ready because I'm very porous at the moment and it's real gross, I know. So I'm just putting this in the areas where I am quite porous, which is mainly my nose and like the sides of my nose leading to my cheeks. Um, but I like to put a bit on my forehead because I have like these horrible lines that crease quite badly. And also I'm a bit porous like here so and because we're gonna be wearing this makeup pretty much all day depending on you know when you get up and do your thing I am going to be using this Elf's Aqua Primer Mist so far I think this is really good <clears throat> like I said it's quite tacky so I feel like the makeup really like sticks to my face and whenever I've used it like my foundation has looked so good like I think like eight or or however many hours later, I think eight hours is probably the most I ever wear makeup. It like it still looks really fresh and nice. I mean I'll have a little bit of crease in here and there because that just always happens to my skin, but so far I'm really impressed with this. So I'm gonna use this. And rather than spraying it directly onto my face because I've really not enjoyed that, it's just it's so concentrated. I spray it into my hands and rub it together and kind of pat it all over my face because I just find that works better. I'm going to do a little bit of colour correcting because a couple of discs. Um, I'm going to first use the NYX one, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to be using the pink and the purple for my under eye, which I've really enjoyed doing. So that's the pink down, and I like to get like a little bit of purple and just pop that there as well. That's it for the NYX palette at the moment. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in green. For the redness on my face. Look at this little guy here thinking he can just come in and own the place. Who's he think he is? And he just blend. I've just popped a bit more on because the redness is really coming through. Okay, so colour correcting is done. I'm going to jump into foundation now and please ignore the fact that the rest of my body is not going to be the same colour as my face. Obviously this is a vampire look and, well not at the moment, but obviously this is more of a Halloween-y look so I do need to be a bit more pale, so just, we're just going to ignore this part of my body, okay? <laughs> so I'm going in with two foundations, I'm going in with my Gosh foundation and my Pure Bear It All foundation. I just like these mixed together, I think they make a really nice formula. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to be blending it all with my Revolution silicone sponge thing. And now to blend. So obviously these two are quite, I don't want to say light foundations, but they aren't full coverage so you can still see some green coming through so I am going to go in with another layer. Okay so foundation is on, what I'm going to do is quickly just go over it with a clean-ish sponge just because it is looking a little bit cakey so I'm just going to quickly run over with this just to get rid of any excess and also help it look a bit more natural. So now I'm going to go on to concealer and I of course will be using my Tarte Shape Tape uh, so my forehead, under my eyes, my nose, my chin something's really itchy on my face and then just using the Tarte Quickie Blend just gonna blend that all out I 
I'm going to quickly prime my eyes as well. And it's powder my face if I can find it. I'm going to be using the RCMA powder. And then I'm going to be using my little Barry M Puff, which I'm a massive fan of at the moment. My eyelids before they crease. So now I'm going to do my under eye. And then the other places are concealed. And then for the rest of my face, I'll just apply it with a brush. Okay, so powdering is sort of done. I'm gonna go on to contouring. I would normally bronze, but I'm not going to for this look. Because it's just gonna make it harder later. So, I will be contouring with my Makeup Geek contour in uh, Breakup. Just gonna quickly contour my nose. to do it under my lip just to give me that pouty look and I also like to do my filtering okay so now that I've contoured I'm gonna quickly clean up my cheeks uh, while I'm waiting for that to bake I'm gonna quickly do some highlighting because of course no look is complete without a nice highlight so I'm gonna be using my revolution highlighting palette I think that's what it's called ultra strobe and light palette it's very pretty and my elf uh, highlighting brush I'm gonna use the purple just doing your usual places to so like my cheekbones and I don't know if you guys remember when I used this for the first time I think two weeks ago now uh, my video and I had the LA girl foundation on that was a lot darker than this and I was saying I can't really see the purple I think it's because you know my skin isn't that pale you can see the purple now because I have my pale foundation on and then I'm just taking my pinky in it for like my nose my nose bridge and my cupid's bow oh mama look at that okay so i'm gonna be using a mixture of two palettes maybe three i don't know yet but the morphe 350 and the jacqueline hill because they got some beautiful colors in there so starting with my g17 i'm gonna pop into a very neutral taupey color just for the transition which is gonna be this one it's the very third one so I'll just run that through the crease just to make a nice transition colour. Just gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so that first transition colour is down. I'm just gonna deepen that by going into the one directly underneath it. So that's that colour there. I'm gonna pop from the Morphe 350 palette this really light orange, which I use a lot. I'm just gonna pop that in there just to give it a bit more warmth. And then back to the Jacqueline palette. I'm gonna go for this like deeper ready orange. And I'm gonna do that thing I do where I squash the brush here and then run it through. And then with my B19, nope, my E18, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna go into that cranberry red colour from the Jacqueline Hill palette. This one. Do like two dabs and then just run it through here. And then taking my EG17 again, um, I'm just going to run it through. Okay, so the crease is done. You guys know how I love my cut creases because it's all I ever do. I'm sorry. I am only going to do a half cut crease though because they're my fave. Because they're not as hard. Okay, so my crease is cut very high this time for some reason. Okay, so in the Morphe 350 palette, I'm taking this one because it's very light but still has like a reddish tint to it. I'm putting that on my lid. Like so. I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the B, no, the E18 in that same kind of cranberry red color from the Jacqueline Hill palette and I'm just gonna pop it on my outer lid and then give it a good blend. Like so. Okay, so then for the under eye, I'm going to take a mixture of the first two transition colours and put that all under my eye. And then I'm going to take the light orange from the Morphe palette. And then I'm going to take the warmer orange from here. This one. Again. And again. Put it on top. Really building up these colours. <laughs> and then I'm going to take that cranberry red. I'm peeing! Pop it just on the outer corner. Battery died, but anyway. 
Uh, the only thing I did different, I popped a bit of orange here and here because I noticed it was really apparent under here but not on the top, so... With my G17 I'm just gonna blend it through and just blend it all through my eye. So I'm gonna do some eyeliner. Just gonna take my NYX eyeliner in... It's just, I don't know, it's coming off. But it's just a black eyeliner. I think it's the matte liquid liner. And I'm just gonna do a little wing. When I say little, it's probably gonna be massive. So you look at that little wing I did. Just gonna quickly do the other eye. Okay, so other eye is done. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm gonna be using my Barry M Brow Wow pencil, which needs sharpening. I'm gonna quickly draw through my eyebrow. Okay, I'm gonna quickly see if these eye lashes are done. I'll also wait for that other eyelash to dry or to get tacky. I'm just gonna put some brow gel in and this is the MUA one. Look at that cute little messy brow. But while we wait for that, I'm gonna try again with this brow. This brow, this eyelash. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for my eyelashes to dry a little bit before I put any mascara on and do my lips. So I've got this lip pencil, oh, which I haven't opened and it takes ages. So I got this pencil in Brooding Plum from MUA. It was a pound, which is great. And I'm just gonna line my lips with it. I feel like Kim Possible. Uh, I got a new lipstick from Gosh, and this is in Grape. So I'm gonna pop this on. So that's my lips done. I'm gonna quickly put some mascara on. Okay, and then that is my autumn look. <laughs> stylish but I am living for this look I love it so much so I'm going to show you how you're going to turn this little cute autumn look which I am loving and I'm so sad that I'm gonna have to destroy this into a vampire okay so to start off you're gonna want to take these eyelashes off because we're gonna be messing with our eyes a lot and we're not gonna be wearing these eyelashes anyway so I'm just gonna so to start off I'm going to use the white paint Obviously this white paint is going to be pretty crappy, so. Obviously we have a lot of powder and products on, so you don't want to be putting this on in like sweeping motions. You want to be patting it on and being really careful. And then what I'm going to do is take my beauty blender and blend all this. And I'm also going to put some of this down my neck because our neck will obviously be on show because we're going to have a little bite mark. Same again, just taking the Beauty Blender just to blend that out. So then, to set all this cream, we're going to need some powder. I'm just going to go in with my RCMA again, and I've lost it again. Taking my Barry M Puff, and I'm just going to put it everywhere. So our face is white and powdered. I am going to contour my face more using the same contour. I've lightly contoured again, but this time you're going to want to get like a black eyeshadow. You need it to be matte. So the Jaclyn Hill palette has one. You don't want a lot of it, but you do want some. And you're going to keep it right at the back. And then you're going to blend it. This is going to make us look real gaunt and scary. And then you just want a little bit for your jawline. And you just want to keep adding the black as you see fit like you know if you don't look as gaunt as you want to then you just keep adding but just keep it at the back before you blend and run it down here I don't know what these lines are they keep coming up you can do your collarbones too if they're gonna be on show so now that we're looking spooktacular mainly just malnourished <laughs> So yes, we have to ruin this beautiful look. And what we're going to do is take that black again and the flat brush we use to put the glitter on and literally just going to cover it all. What? What? Oh, you look spooky. So I've put the black on my eye and obviously I'm going to blend it in a minute, but as you can see, it's very glittery and that's because of the shimmer we had underneath, obviously. I'm just gonna use my E8, uh, no, my G17 just to blend it all through. And then we just wanna put this underneath our eye as well. 
I'm gonna try and put some more black on top just because I'm not loving this glitter look at the moment. There we go, that's a bit better. So I'm just blending it through and then down to kind of create a sort of nose contour. Got quick nips off some jam. What's the, the mum from the Adams family? What's this, sir? Yeah, you're like her, but if she was a man. <laughs> okay, so my eyes are done, sort of. I'm gonna quickly take a bit more of that cranberry red and pop it through there just to make it look a bit distressed. And the same thing underneath. And now what I'm gonna do is smudge my lipstick with one of these cotton walls. So I'm literally just gonna... Looking great. My teeth, which are real cheap, so they're probably gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I am put them on my mouth properly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take them out for a second. I'm gonna put some deeper red around my mouth. I'm gonna use some of that red eyeshadow first. And just and then also a little little bit of the black I'm gonna take a bit of the red in this little color wheel I'm kind of just using the brushes it comes with because why not I'm using this cheap little brush and also some of the black I'm gonna take the thick blood that I have here And it comes with a little sponge and even a little spatula, which is cute. Give it a good shake. Oh god, it's so thick. <laughs> and then just start placing it. Nip. Oh god, So I've got this vampire blood, and what I'm gonna do, put it on my mouth and let it drip. This one's real drippy. And then waiting for that to finish dripping. <laughs> I've already got some lipstick on the teeth from where I put them in the first time, so I'm just gonna grab that lipstick, put some on my finger, and paint a little bit on them. Popping my teeth in. These teeth are so bad. I'm just gonna put some more <laughs> of this jiffy blood on. Hopefully you find some better teeth than I did, because this is this is not scary. <laughs> I'm gonna pop the teeth out whilst I do the next thing that I forgot to do. Hey, without the teeth, you could just be a zombie because they both look the same. So you take your liquid latex and you want to pop it in. You want to pop it in something to use it. And make sure you got your cotton wool. I'm going to use this little sponge that came with the blood. And what you want to do, I'm going to put the little bite here. You want to just start picking it up, placing it where you want it. And then you take your cotton wool and you unravel it. You just take some of it and you want to keep ripping it apart until it's quite small. And just place it on top. And then you go over it again with the liquid latex. Just smoothing out the edges just to make sure it looks a bit more natural. And then you want to wait for this to dry. So you could either wait for it to dry or get a hair dryer, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, then once it's dry, you go in with another layer of latex. More cotton wool and then more liquid latex and you kind of just keep doing this until you've got the desired thickness that you want i'm just going to do one more layer i think okay so it's all dry you're going to want to paint it with your like foundations and, and chis to match your skin this is not my best liquid latex molding whatever it's called i'm just going to go over it with this white cream shit and then you get some powder, I'm gonna powder that down. And then we're gonna make it look a bit distressed with some red. So that same red eyeshadow we were using. I'm just gonna quickly cut in the bite marks. You wanna be real careful doing SFX shit knee and neck. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do two bites because this is supposed to be like an easy, quick one. And this is not being quick so far, I'm so sorry. So there's one hole. It's real hard to cut. And I don't, my battery's gonna run out. Got some tweezers. Okay, so the battery died and I haven't got a spare battery. I've charged it for like five minutes. It's gonna die. But I sort of got holes in this. It was real, real hard. But yeah, so I'm just gonna paint these. So just using that crappy little thing that came with this shit. I'm using the black. I'm gonna try and get in that hole. To make them look deeper than they are because I could not get them any deeper. 
And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that red and go around there. So I'm just going to take more of that red and put it all over here. Same as we did on the outside, but I'm doing it on the inside now just because I know where the bites are now. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this colour. It's like a greeny blue. And I'm going to dab that in just for like some bruising. I want to really blend out this edge as well. And then I'm going to stick some of this like thick scabby blood in there. I actually really like how this has turned out from the blue all around it here. It looks kind of like veiny. Put it around there. So that's the bite, which I actually think turned out way better than I thought it was going to. 